Welcome to this video in our Electromagnetic Consciousness series. The concept of electromagnetic consciousness suggests that consciousness arises from interactions at both the atomic and neural levels, where electromagnetic fields and quantum phenomena play crucial roles. Understanding consciousness requires exploring how electromagnetic signals and quantum coherence work in tandem within the brain's complex network of neurons. The intricate dance between these micro-level processes could offer insights into how consciousness emerges as a unified experience. In this presentation, we begin by exploring the fundamental components of consciousness, from the quantum states and atomic interactions to the neural structures that process these signals. The journey from atoms to neurons illustrates the vast scale at which electromagnetic fields and quantum mechanics influence cognitive functions, potentially acting as the foundation for consciousness. The orchestrated objective reduction, orchestra OR, theory asserts that quantum events within microtubules create the basis for consciousness. As seen in the illustration on the right, microtubules within neurons undergo quantum superpositions, where they exist in multiple states simultaneously. These quantum states collapse through a process known as objective reduction, or, resulting in moments of conscious experience. This collapse is suggested to be influenced by the geometry of spacetime, linking consciousness to the fabric of the universe itself. The idea here extends to the realm of electromagnetic consciousness, as microtubules are proposed to maintain quantum coherence, facilitating electromagnetic interactions that may encode information vital for cognitive functions like memory and decision-making. The schematic highlights how microtubules could act as quantum processors, using electromagnetic fields as mediums for consciousness. This theory challenges traditional neural computation models by proposing that consciousness involves quantum-level phenomena and electromagnetic field dynamics. The key to electromagnetic consciousness in orchestral OR theory is the maintenance of quantum coherence within microtubules. As depicted here, microtubules preserve quantum states even in the brain's warm environment, suggesting that the brain might have evolved specific structures to protect these delicate quantum processes. This protection could enable the transmission of quantum information through electromagnetic fields, crucial for the emergence of conscious states. The collapse of these quantum states generates unique electromagnetic patterns, which may correspond to different conscious experiences. This slide also illustrates how these patterns could theoretically create an electromagnetic field that encompasses and integrates neural activities, supporting the idea of a coherent field of consciousness that arises from the micro-level processes occurring within neurons. Kepler's quantum neuroelectrodynamics theory suggests that the zero-point field, ZPF, serves as a substrate for electromagnetic consciousness. The ZPF is a dynamic, pervasive field filled with fluctuating energy, even in the absence of particles. The brain is proposed to act as a resonant oscillator, selectively coupling with specific modes of the ZPF, amplifying certain electromagnetic patterns linked to conscious experiences. This slide illustrates how these interactions with the ZPF allow the brain to access a variety of phenomenal states, implying that consciousness might result from the brain's dynamic modulation of this field. This concept challenges classical views, suggesting that consciousness emerges not just from neural circuitry but from a deep resonance with fundamental electromagnetic fields, encompassing the intrinsic qualities of the ZPF. In electromagnetic consciousness, the brain's microcolumns function as fundamental units that generate local electromagnetic fields. This slide focuses on how glutamate ZPF coupling plays a critical role in this process. In part, a, the runaway stage is driven by glutamate interactions with the ZPF, amplifying specific field modes that create localized electromagnetic fields. This amplification necessitates widespread synaptic activation across the microcolumn. In part, b, the resulting coherence domain forms a stable electromagnetic state which synchronizes neural activity across multiple microcolumns. These domains are thought to be crucial for conscious experiences, suggesting that consciousness emerges from the synchronization of localized electromagnetic fields. The coupling strength between glutamate and the ZPF, along with the formation of these coherence domains, highlights the importance of electromagnetic interactions in generating and maintaining conscious states. 
Electromagnetic consciousness suggests that conscious experiences emerge from synchronized neural activity, driven by electromagnetic interactions. This slide illustrates how the formation of synchronized neural patterns is linked to the brain's interaction with the ZPF. When synaptic activation in microcolumns exceeds a critical threshold, glutamate ZPF coupling initiates phase transitions, leading to the creation of coherence domains. These coherence domains, shown in the central figure, synchronize to form a unified electromagnetic field across different brain regions. This synchronization is believed to facilitate integrated conscious experiences, highlighting how electromagnetic fields generated by neural activity can give rise to a coherent field of consciousness that encompasses the entire brain's functional states. The theory of electromagnetic consciousness extends to the role of biophotons in neural communication. Biophotons are ultra-weak electromagnetic emissions that interact with microtubules and could serve as carriers of information within the brain. This slide shows how biophotons, emitted primarily from mitochondria, might facilitate neural communication through electromagnetic interactions. The central image illustrates biophoton propagation in myelinated axons, which act as electromagnetic waveguides. These waveguides enable the efficient transmission of biophotons, potentially affecting cellular signaling and brain function. The schematic at the bottom suggests that biophoton emissions may contribute to information processing in the brain, adding a new layer to how electromagnetic fields could encode and influence conscious states. Biophoton release is a key element in electromagnetic consciousness theories, as it involves the brain's utilization of light for communication. The left diagram shows how neurons emit biophotons during metabolic processes, which then interact with microtubules. This interaction may enable quantum entanglement, facilitating long-distance neural communication across the brain. The central schematic emphasizes how myelinated axons act as electromagnetic waveguides, efficiently channeling biophotons throughout the neural network. This waveguide action supports the idea that light-based communication might contribute to the synchronization necessary for conscious experiences. The illustration at the bottom right indicates that human brains could potentially transmit billions of biophotons per second, forming a complex network of light-based communication that underpins the electromagnetic field of consciousness. In the realm of electromagnetic consciousness, biophotons are viewed as information carriers, bridging local and global neural processes. The schematic on the top left shows how biophotons encode neural activity, facilitating non-local communication within the brain. This encoding might contribute to the modulation of the brain's electromagnetic field, affecting conscious states. The right-side diagram reveals how ion channels in the node of Ranvier function as nanoantennas, generating electromagnetic radiation. These interactions support the idea that biophoton networks and electromagnetic signals play a central role in processing and synchronizing information across neural networks, potentially contributing to the emergence of consciousness. This slide underscores the importance of light-based communication in maintaining the coherence necessary for a unified conscious experience. Today's presentation explored how consciousness might emerge through the lens of electromagnetic consciousness, integrating quantum events, electromagnetic fields, and biophoton activity. Both the orchestral R theory and quantum neuroelectrodynamics propose that electromagnetic fields and light emissions are foundational to conscious processes. The visual elements on this slide depict how the brain's interaction with the ZPF, alongside biophoton emissions, creates a complex network that facilitates light-based communication. This network may act as a resonance system, where conscious states emerge from the modulation of electromagnetic fields within the brain. The theory suggests that consciousness is not just a product of neural activity, but arises from the brain's capacity to resonate with its own electromagnetic field, offering a new paradigm for understanding the nature of consciousness in light of quantum and electromagnetic dynamics.